This is Adam. About a week ago, he sent me a message saying that he'd recently sold his house and he was heading down south. Because of this, he was looking to sell his entire eBay store, and that's where I come in. So is this your is this your entire eBay store? This is the entire eBay store plus some things that I had out there. Wow. Down the background. So this was originally all listed up onto eBay, all and now eBay. and now it's not. Yeah. <laughs> now it's not. What was really interesting about this pic though was that when I arrived, it wasn't long before Adam was showing me around his collection room and I quickly realized that there was maybe even an opportunity to buy some of these items as well. Jeez, look at all these, you got a lot of consoles. If you want a couple of them, tell me. When he said that he needed to sell everything, he meant everything and man, he had some cool stuff. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see how this one plays out. Wow, it's hard to know where to begin, isn't it? <laughs> I just how I've just gone straight to the hats. <laughs> Out of everything here, and here I am just sifting through baseball hats. I think, I think there was like what was this one? That one I actually got from a, a, a garage sale. Did you? Yeah. It's really cool. It's a really good one, even with the Boston pin on it. Yeah, Boston pin, brand new, new era. Yeah. It's the draft series hat. I say the twins. These are another one that get faked pretty well. Oh yeah? The, uh, the new era hats. Oh, I never knew that. Yep. Like this one here, for instance. What brand's this? Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell and Ness as well. That's another fake that you can get yeah, yeah. pretty easily off. Sometimes they have um, NFL vintage collection stitched here, yeah. and then it's a, a, ho a hockey hat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you've really got to pay attention because the, the tags are always just stitched on. They look good, yeah, yeah. but they might be completely off. Keep an, Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. But these don't look too bad at all. That Cowboys hat's cool. How, how have you been sourcing and, and listing up these video games from a sense of like comp value? Would you have a minimum? Like, do you list anything that's under $10? Do you, do you like, I know there's like some sing stars in here, for instance, that don't go for too much that you typically probably bundle up. Yep. Um, how do you, how do you source your games? Well, a lot of the games, um, a lot of the PlayStation 2, you know, PlayStation 2 games I usually get off Marketplace. Off Marketplace, yep. yep. So you get big allotments. So big allotments. Yep. Two PS1s. PS1s, yeah. Not really well known ones. The Dreams one is interesting. Dreams, yeah. No, Haven't heard of that. No manual. No manual. On that one. No manual. I actually had. That one was in a slimline case. Yep. And that case had been given to a different game. Oh, okay. So I had to actually buy both games. Right, yeah. <laughs> Never an issue. No. The Great Escape. Never heard of that one. Yeah. I love it when I see games I've never heard of. Yeah, you see all, you, all the common ones you see every day. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Just don't know what to do with all your games, whether or not to just, just grab them all and work on a price for everything, yeah. or to go through them all individually. It'll just take so much time, you know? Yeah. Um, I'll take it everything that's out here, you're happy to have go? Yep. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And then this, how's this go? Is this new or...? Um... Got it down south and I haven't even tested it. Haven't tested it? No. Yeah. It's not complete. Right. Um, it's probably the way I aren't able to test it, right? Yeah. How are these Mario carts? Are they, yep, complete? Yep. Not too many scratches. Because they're, I think, 30 every time. Yeah. Well, that's why I had the Mario kart uh, controller with it as well. Yeah, a nice. Couple of aftermarkets. A couple of afters, yeah. yeah. All right, so I've just worked through all of these games, and geez, there was a lot in there. Um, just did some comping up to just see what they were worth, and they were all pretty good. I almost actually consider just grabbing every single one and then taking them back home, but just through some doing some really quick comp research in about 20 minutes, all of these games here, are, are, they start at $15 and they work themselves up. I think I think, oh, I think, think Scarface, the game that I saw when I first got here, uh, I know that that one's worth about 50. That's one of the, one of the best of the bunch. So a nice little collection there of games. Just gonna jump into maybe some shoes next and we'll see what we got in there. I've just found these Keen boots. There's one telltale sign with the Keen, or well, actually not even with the Keen, with any shoes. Just a size guide there. I've said it in past videos, a size US 10. If you're not sure if that's a men's or a women's, the UK discrepancy tells you that this is a women's shoe because it's two and a half difference in size. So a UK seven and a half, that tells me it's women's. But if it was a UK nine, it would be a men's. So hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, these Keen shoes are definitely the first really good pair that I've seen 
out of this big allotment of shoes that we've got to look through. Now these are some Kyries, eh? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Are they not the ones I was questioning? I think these are legit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with those. They look pretty good to me. And they're in good condition. The ones I was questioning. Those Air Maxes look pretty good too. Those ones from the uh, Sunday market. Yeah, nice. US size 12. <laughs> yeah, you often do with the Air Max. But I mean, you can sell them for about 50, maybe 60 bucks. Yeah. What'd you buy them for, 30? I bought them for 20. Oh, that's okay. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, that's all right. These are good. No, I can't find them. Can't find the ones I was questioning. No insoles on these. Yes, seven and a half. So if you're testing out whether or not they're real or not, that code there, 918230002, if you search that and then it matches, you're a lot closer to working out whether or not they're authentic or not. Every other telltale sign on this looks pretty decent to me. Um, but yeah, that code would be the giveaway. All right. Shoes done. I thought I'd finish the shoes, but we've actually got two more tubs right here. Well, actually, one more tub. And these I've found, which are the GT1000s, and they go pretty well. And they're in really good condition, Adam. They're in great condition. Um, and then, what do you got here? Some jack. Yeah, maybe not those. Oh, these, these are good. They're in pretty good in here. Quantum one eight. Another quantums, yeah. Eight and a half. Yeah, so they're good. These are great shoes. Uh, the gel light threes. And they're in pretty good nick and they're a size nine, which is good. Alright, so I'll take those, those, those. So we've got three extra pairs of shoes to add to the mix. All right, so I'm just stepping outside for a quick break because we've been out there for maybe 30, 45 minutes, but I wanted to update you on something that I'm going to try and do in the rest of this video. I really want to get back into that collection games room that Adam's got because I saw some really good stuff at the start of the, ultimately at the start of the video when I first got here. And, and he's got some Pokemon games. I, I'm really going to try and work on this to try and get back in there. So stick around. That's going to be my mission. I want to get a really good deal out the back, but then I want to buy some of his personal collection as well. Because he's got to move. He's got to get out of here. And I think he's willing to part with it. If you want a couple of them, tell me. <laughs> so if you guys are doing your board games, I've just had a bit of a look through Adam's collection here. And this one is a good one to be finding because it's from the company that does the logo board game. And that's a really good game that sells quick on eBay. So this is a variation, the best of Christmas. It's brand new and sealed, which is great. Saw a pre-owned for $25. Um, so being, what, a month, two months now away from Christmas? Um, that's a really great buy. Oh, so this one here, yeah. But I think, open her up, I think, was that the questions that were... Get you to do that. Yeah, I can't remember if the questions were sealed. No. No. They look like, yeah, yeah I was kidding. Like it looks like new too. Yeah. Yeah, I Good think the comps on that would be similar. 25 30. I think I, I think I had it for 30. Maybe I had it for, maybe I had it for 25. Postage there. on something like that's going to be about 10 bucks as well. Yeah. So that's always something to take into consideration. But yep, I think out of the board games, they've been my best sellers over the last couple of years, the logo board game. So I've got to say yes to Dynasty. Yes, Christmas. You got this for $5? No, the. Uh, oh, the board game. Yeah. What'd you buy Dynasty for? Yep, that makes sense. What's this anime? Uh, Shana, the Destana uh, Nashana or something? Yeah. Yeah. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six is good. Yeah. You'd imagine? Sorry? You'd imagine that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, Seventh Heaven. Yes, complete. That's something I've never... Really? Yeah. I've never seen that. Uh, I think even... That's worth a bit. One of them's not even open. One, one of them's sealed. How many, how many seasons were there? First, second, third, fifth and sixth. Is there a fourth? Should be. A 
that's the fourth. Yep. So that's everything. Yeah. Front line's awesome. Front line, yes. That's a big win. I think this is the most common box set I've ever found. Yes. The West Wing. West Wing. I think I got three of them at home, and they just don't sell. Unfortunately, bit bit like Sex in the City as well. You'd, you'd think Michael J. Fox would sell it. Yeah, yeah, you would. Now, what do you got in here? Just loose. Uh, these were bits. What, what have we got? I should say it on the other side. We got this one are classified as single DVDs. Single DVDs, yeah. We got some Baywatch one, two, these three. These were from my brother the other day. Oh, he came and gave you some. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of horrors and thrillers and. Yeah, right. Yeah. So that's all Blu-ray. All Blu-ray, okay. So the Goonies. The Goonies, I jumped at that when I saw it, because I'm a Goonies boy. Yep. Back in the 80s. Yep. Then Fast, eight film collection. There is a ninth movie now, one of the Fast, Fast series. That one, I, I'm surprised that one hasn't sold. Yeah. You'd think coming up to Christmas it probably would, but. Christmas special. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. Mm. It's the only one you've got of that show? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, of Amen. CDs. <laughs> Legend of the Sea Cut, does that go okay? I think it will. The reason I think it will is because there's a complete second and final. So that's a complete set, those two there. I don't know what the comps are, but I can assure you they'll probably be fairly decent. Mortal Kombat, these are good. Complete one six of Shit's Creek. I've heard that. I've actually started watching that, believe it or not. Great show. Yeah. Yep. Every out. I just can't believe the DVDs, the way they sell. That's a good show. Different strokes. Different strokes, yeah. Season yeah. one. Yeah. Season one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah season season one. one and season two and season two sold. Oh, really? Go figure. I sold one and two. Yeah. Yeah. I think the same week, actually, I remember seeing you sell it, and I thought, yeah. Yep. Oh, one yep. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? I've never heard of that. Macross Plus. That was my personal collection. Complete collection of Macross Plus. So I don't think I put it up to late. Yeah, right. Parts one, two, three, four. Blu-ray or no DVD? No DVD. Yeah. Yep. There's still more. But wait, there's more. It just keeps going. Yeah. I think I might need another, another tub. I think so, mate. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. It's not a huge mover, but it does eventually sell for some good money. One Tree Hill. Okay, so you got. Is there, have you got season 10? Was there 10 seasons? Mm. Oh, oh nice. actually, no, the ninth and final. Yeah. I'll grab all that that's in your hand there. Uh, and you Swift and Shift as well? Yep. Yeah. Swifty? Yeah, the old uh, Swift and Shift. That's worth about 10 bucks, I think. <laughs> Last of the Summertime. Is that complete? Summer wine. Uh, yeah, 10 seasons. Uh, actually, no, I think it goes for like 21 seasons. Oh, we got 1 to 10 now. Oh, look at that. Yeah. What's this one? Oh, that's that's good actually. Yep, I'll take that. Yep, that's awesome that one. I've just stepped out for a quick second to take a break and I wanted to update you guys on the Movember fundraiser challenge that I'm doing this month. We're trying to raise $5,000 for suicide prevention in young men, prostate cancer, testicular cancer, and just generally men's mental health and well-being. I'm doing so by trying to raise $5,000 and I'm running five kilometers every single day for the month of November. So if you are interested in contributing to this charity, uh, the link is in the description below. And if you can't donate cash, completely fine. I'm gonna be personally donating a dollar for every single subscriber that we get in the month. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and you'll be supporting a really good cause. Uh, I've also got some Pokemon games in the games room if you wanna have a look at them. Pokemon? Yeah. yeah, I'd absolutely be interested in looking at that. Sure. Let's, um, yeah, let's go do that now. Guys, we've done it. Let's get into this collection room. All right. Are you happy to move any of this stuff? Tell me if not. This this is my mindset. My mindset is the collector in me says no. <laughs> the realist in me says, how the hell am I going to get this down south <laughs> with what the space that we have? So That's so true. Yeah. There's a good one. Mm, platinum, uh, pearl, yeah. You found pearl for five bucks. I found pearl for five bucks. That's so good. <laughs> and diamond. And then you got white. Diamond, I actually got the empty case from from a um, place up at Bean Lee. Oh, and yeah. And then I actually got the game separately. Yeah, right. From out at uh, 
some other, well, some other place that I went to that had it sold it as a pack with a couple other games. And I thought, oh, wow, cool. I'll take that. Oh, and they came with their manual too. Yeah. Check that out too. I can't take that off you. It's empty box. That doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Well, you, on there. you know all about that though, right? That actually came with the... When I purchased it, it was for the purple one, but they had that in the box. Oh, right. Uh, didn't you, did you have the Aussie one at one stage? Not the Aussie. I had the Pikachu. Um, okay. Yeah, I had the Pokemon one. Yeah. But that, that alone, do you know the value of that? Yeah. Yeah. Quite, yeah Probably 100, good, yeah. 120, yeah. maybe 130. I don't, I don't know. I'd have to see. But how many of these consoles are you, are you not parting with? And you can say all of them. <laughs> I don't know. What should I say, love? Part with all? Oh no, I want these ones. Um, I'll let you keep a couple of them. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> what, what were you looking at? What They're only small. <laughs> yeah, what was I looking at? Um, to be honest with you, probably just the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Color, I would say. My nostalgia is, is around me playing these two versions. Yeah. Anything after that, I never really played. Like the DS lights and all of those, I've never really... Never really used. Power supply. Power supply for the um for the GS. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> is that game in there? That game is in there. Are it's you box. selling it? I can do. <laughs> we'll have a look I, at I it. did have I did have it on eBay. You did? I did have it on eBay. Okay. Complete boxed in with the inner. So full. And the manuals. So it's all in there. Nice to be able to pinch a few things out of the, uh, out, of the out of the collection. Yeah. Now we're just going to talk some price points on everything, don't we? Yeah. So I'm just going to leave everything that I've just picked out of the uh, of the games room and the collection room. Uh, we're going to do the negotiating on that at the end. But we do have everything else, and I figured the easiest way to do it is to just break it up into the categories. We've got them all tubbed up individually, so uh, we're going to look at some shoes, we're going to look at some clothing and hats, and then some DVDs and some video games. And ultimately, we do this to try and help you guys, um, I guess, get a bit of an understanding of how to go about a bulk purchase and what sort of price points you can spend um, for these sorts of things. But there is a lot of stock in here, so I'm assuming that there's going to be quite a bit of money spent. So <laughs> Adam and I are just going to go through it all now and hopefully get some value out of working through this negotiation with us. So uh, Adam, first thing that we're going to get into yep. is the video games. All right. So there's 26 games. Mm -hmm. I haven't tested to see whether or not they're scratched or anything like that but you they're not too bad are they nah, nah. um so I'm, I'm thinking that they're going to be in pretty good near have you got a price that you'd like um uh, well how many say 26 26 so we got 50 all up we can do that yeah yeah we can do that 50 all up for those um so 26 at 50 sets what i put 60 <laughs> put 60 and you got the numbers there Oh, yeah, not 6,050. 50, done. So we've got 26 video games, and I'm buying them for a little over two bucks each, is what it works out to. So that's 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 pretty good. If I'm in an op shop and I'm buying an individual game, it's typically going to be about $5 that I want to buy it for. I've grabbed games that are worth $15 or more. There's one game in there, Scarface. That there is the absolute winner. Um, that's a ripping game, but the rest of them are all going to be sort of you know smaller profit margins, but they just sell really well for me. Um, so we'll continue with the video game uh, category, but a $60 is, is an awesome start. Um, the best uh, the best of Christmas game, this brand new and sealed board game. Five. Five bucks, done. It's no stress, that should sell for about 25. Um, okay, so that's that tub done. Now, the shoes. Uh, how many eight pairs of shoes? Eight pairs. Uh, 50? 50 for eight, what's that working out to? Five, six bucks each? Yeah. Basically. Let's do let's do 80 for eight. 80 for eight? Let's do 80 for eight. Right, okay. I'll feel good buying them off for 10 each. 10 each? Okay. I'll feel happy. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm a better price than I was going to sell at the market for. I know, but I'm, <laughs> I'm able to get in before the pack. So I've got to pay for that. Okay. Um, so we'll do 10 each because I've cherry picked your best of the bunch. Okay. Nice. All right, we're doing the shoes now, and we've just agreed on $80. Um, so we're going to do 10 bucks each, and I've really kind of cherry-picked the best of the bunch. Adam, you said you were going to sell them at the flea market for 10 bucks. Yep. So I figured 10 bucks if that's what they're going to be sold for individually, I'm happy to buy them all for 10 apiece. Uh, and we've got some really good shoes that will all go on to sell. I think an average of about $50 each, and that nets me about a $25 profit per pair. So um, some really good shoes that hopefully you guys are paying attention to for ones for you guys to be looking for uh, when you're out buying. We're going to do some clothing now. 
And we've got the fun one. Yeah, the fun one. Yeah. Now you were to now look, I know top heavy's good. Yep. What do you think for these two? What do you think they're actually worth? Uh, I think I had them on for about sixty each. Sixty each, yeah. Um, because they are vintage 2001, 2000, 2001. 2000, 2001, yeah. Um, look at that. But uh, very cool. Yeah. Uh, obviously you've got to sell them. I've got to sell them. You've got to resell them. That's going to be the fun part. It does say nineteen ninety eight on them. Okay, yeah. Nineteen ninety eight. Oh, copyrighted nineteen ninety eight. Copy not, yeah. Yeah. And it's a top heavy too. Top heavy on the tag there. Yeah. So. Uh, you reckon they're worth sixty? Yeah. Fifteen each. Fifteen each. Thirty bucks. Sounds like a plan. All right. Yeah. I'll do that. And then I've got a bunch of jerseys here, <laughs> which is all I really sell in the clothing game. And we've got this uh, this jacket as well. Got another Sri Lanka jersey. So we might look at all of these. Yep. Do you have a per unit price on some of these? Um, I don't. I was going to go a blanket price. Blanketing, yep. Um, I was thinking about seven each. Yep. yep seven seven each. bucks each. Yep. We can definitely do seven bucks each. That's op shop pricing that I'd like. Yep. Um, I'll do 10 on these for you. Oh, so I'll pay a little bit more for those. 10 on those, seven on the rest. Really good purchase pricing that I would like to see when I'm out in the thrift. Um, so that's awesome for those clothing items. They'll all do really well. Um, so you got all the price points written down? Yep. Cool. <laughs> now the hats. The hats are our next category. So I've got a Mambo, we've got the Boston Celtics. Um, how many have been total? We've got three, four, five, six hats in total. What do you reckon? Three each. Three bucks each, I think that's a fair deal. 18. 18 on that, yep, that's perfect. I love selling my hats. <laughs> um, all right, so that's all that. Now it's just DVDs. Yeah. All right, so we've got 18 box sets. Um, so I've grabbed, I've looked everything out here. There's 18 different box sets. Um, some of them aren't complete, but there's multiples of the same show. And then we've got 26 individual DVDs, movies, TV shows, a bit of a, a sort of mix and match. I'll be listing all those 26 up individually. Um, did you have a price on, say, the 26 individuals? I'll get about two each. Two bucks each, I'm happy with that. And we got 50. Yep, so 50 bucks on the individual ones. And then we've got 18 different box sets. We did those ones at, uh, they were $2 each, weren't they? Yes. So five each? Five each, yep. Five each? Yep, we could do five, that'd be 90. Yep. Let's just call it 100. You sure? Yep, yep. put that in for 100. So it's 100 for the box sets. 18 of them, and then it's so it's about $5.50 each, which is great. Yep. And then we've got um, $2 a piece on the individual DVDs. So I've got this one, which is the special set. <laughs> this is the ones that I'm the most interested in. Everything that I was able to pull out of the collection room. 10, so 30, 30, 40, $45. $45. So we're going to do $45 for the DS bundle of games, majority of them being the Pokemon games, which I'll, I, I think will all go well. This one I really love. We've got the Game Boy Advance, we've got the Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Revival. And it's got its original box. It seems to be complete with manual as well from the looks of it. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, it's come down. Come down. It's come down. It's on bids, it was 40. 40 bucks on bid. Yeah. 15? Yeah, okay. 15 bucks. Yeah. So we're gonna do 15 for Super Street Fighter, which I think is really cool. We've got the Nintendo here. Uh, so we've got the Game Boy Advanced SP plus the charger. And then we've also got a Game Boy Color as well. Um, both of them are in working condition. I think this one here is worth about $160. Put the charge with it, it's probably worth about 180 bucks. Um, so what do you reckon, could I throw a price at you of 70 bucks? Okay. Yeah? Yep. 70 bucks. I was thinking 70. Yep. So where are we at? Final grand total. So 538. 538, let's call it 540. 540? 540. 540, done deal. Plan, sir? Unreal. Not a problem. What a collect. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. <laughs> Adam. Thank you very much, How mate. I appreciate it. No we'll see you soon. Best of luck with the move. Thank you. Thanks, see mate. You I'll leave you with another private pick that I did a few weeks ago. If you've enjoyed this video, hit, hit the subscribe button. You may as well. It's free. Uh, support the Movember charity if you can. Appreciate you being here, guys. I look forward to catching you in the next vid.